Hi guys, this is Leanne and this is my October vlog for my first year at McGill. So now that I've lived on the East Coast in Montreal for a couple months now, I've noticed some differences between the East Coast and the West Coast, as in Vancouver where I grew up. I feel like on the East Coast, um, people are more brash in a way, but at the same time like they're very themselves, like they, um, Everyone has their kind of like unique personality and they're not afraid to show it or they don't really conform to anything. Whereas I feel on the West Coast, people are more polite but also more reserved and kind of to themselves in a way. Like I feel like living in Montreal now, it's everyone kind of just talks to each other, hangs out with each other. If we're ever going out or, you know, at a restaurant meeting people for the first time, you know, strangers might come up to you and have a chat, but they, they're they not talking to you to get something from you. Like sometimes guys will come and talk to my girlfriends without wanting our numbers or anything like that. Um, everybody's just kind of chilling and hanging out here. Versus I feel like on the west coast it's a little more cliquey. I feel like if I were going out in Vancouver and somebody kind of just came and sat at my table and started talking to me, I'd be like, Whoa there, personal bubble. <laughs> but um, in Montreal, it seems like everyone kind of just socializes with each other and it's not a big deal. So those are just some differences I've noticed between the East Coast and West Coast. I feel like people are definitely more approachable on the East Coast, but people are definitely a lot more courteous on the West Coast. So speaking about the McGill students in particular, I feel like overall, everyone I've met has been so warm and kind, friendly, but when they're not, I feel like they're very passive aggressive and I went to a public high school in Vancouver and I'm definitely more used to being aggressive aggressive <laughs> but it's definitely very passive at McGill and um, another thing that I've noticed is that people at McGill are very aware about microaggression and it's pretty it's pretty evident in I think there's a page called spotted McGill University. I can link it down below, but you can see it in the comments, uh, comment section, just the things that people post as well. Um, you can see how passive-aggressive and how um, microaggression focused some of the comments and posts are. Whether that's good or bad, those are just some things that I've noticed. Another really important thing that I've learned these past two months is kind of how ignorant I was in high school. In high school, I thought that I could kind of just look at somebody's appearance, check out their group of friends, and by that I would have a gist of who they were as a person. And I found myself subconsciously doing that at McGill when I was meeting people. I would kind of just put a label on them. And then after a while, I would realize that looks are so deceiving. Um, I Everyone who has come here, they're, going, they're coming from such different walks of life. I mean, my roommate is from Paris, we have so many boys here on my floor at Res from Switzerland, our floor rep is from Pakistan, everyone is just coming from these different places and these different walks of life and it's, it's ridiculous to think that you can get a general idea of somebody just by looking at them or just by meeting them the first time, like there's so much more to people and I kind of just have also realized how naive I was before about that. So as I had mentioned, this is my October vlog for my first year at university. So in the spirit of Halloween, I'm wearing one of my many Halloween costumes. This one is my French maid costume. Um, and I love Halloween. I love dressing up. I love wearing whatever I want. And here at McGill, the kids party so hard that Halloween has turned, to, turned into Hello Week. So the three days prior to Halloween, on Halloween, and the three days after Halloween, there are massive parties. Um, parties at clubs, parties at the school, parties, um, house parties, parties at your residence. Um, it just is, there's always something going on. I don't think the people on my floor at my residence rest. I feel like every day is a party day except for maybe Wednesday. So while people party extremely hard at McGill, people are extremely intelligent. Um, I felt like in high school, you know, if I put in enough work, it was easy to be near the top of the class. 
versus at McGill, I feel like I'm lucky if I am average or low average. <laughs> I feel like in all my classes, I am surrounded by hardworking geniuses. And also something that I realized is everything that I learned in high school is basically reversed. Um, the kids who do the best in class are also the kids who party the hardest. They're just all around magical beings. And there is no more social hierarchy. Uh, the cool kids are actually the kids who go to class on time, like you have your life together, you are a cool kid, you go to class, you get good grades, you know what's going on in the world, you're pretty cool. Um, and there is no like age hierarchy, also like the older kids intermingle with the younger kids and everything is just... There are a lot of ups <laughs> to university that didn't really exist in high school and I feel like just a lot of the things that I learned in high school are flipped in reverse. So in my classes, it's definitely intimidating, I think, to be around such smart kids. I've met students who've been accepted into Ivy Leagues, but it's cheaper to go to school in Canada at McGill than it is to go to an American university. So that's why they've chosen to go to McGill. So when I'm sitting next to somebody like this in class, I feel like it's easy for me to feel really intimidated but at the same hand, I'm kind of glad that I'm in this kind of environment. I'm going to end off this vlog with a saying, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're probably in the wrong room. And I'm definitely not the smartest person in any of the rooms I'm in. But it's, uh, I'm glad that I'm in this environment where I can learn from all of my peers around me.